Yo, what it is, YouTube? It's your boy Nitz coming back with another bullseye of a tutorial here today on the channel. I wanted to get into it right away. No BS. Let's jump into it today. Some serious talk. Some serious talk. The combination, the C800 knee preamp and the CL1B. Why is it such a great combination? Why do the pros love it? I think that this trio combination is the peanut butter jelly sandwich of audio. That's what I call it. You know, it's just the perfect combination. It just goes together so well. And let's look into it right away and really my mindset how i feel about this and how i you know i want to get this idea off to you guys so if you guys do have any more uh you know like comments or any more suggestions for any different type of videos go ahead and drop it down below we more than happy to get to it so the very first thing we wanted to talk about today is the history of this chain so we got to understand that before the internet there was always this little illusion this little smoke and mirrors people never really understood what do engineers do and also what do they use to get certain sounds you know up until recently where it was like youtube and then now you have pensados plays before that nobody knew what any of this stuff was you know um even before like 2020 with the um the covid pandemic there was not no products out here like that like microphone emulations and all that stuff it was either you was gonna get the professional stuff or you was gonna get some crappy little home stuff so you know it's very interesting to see how the market has changed where it's more suited for like home recording i think it's a lot better because right now I feel like making music is very fair. I want you guys to know that you are living in a blessed time to be making music. You have the same tools that the professional people have or something that's ballpark kind of like this chain. And you got to understand that it's really coming down to letting all the horses run. All the horses get to run now. It's, it's no longer like how it was like in the 90s. If you didn't have that piece of equipment, you didn't have it. You feel me? Right now we're in a situation where, hey, if you got the tools and you got the ideas and you want it bad enough and you love making music, music you will make it or you will have some type of success or you will be able to produce a quality recording that's what i want you guys to figure out even though you might not have these exact tools you could always find something that's in that area you know it might not be um the bomb but it's in the blast radius it might not be the dealership it might not be that car but at least you in the parking lot that's what i want y'all to understand so first thing let's dive into this the very first part of the chain is the c800 so the c800 is a pretty interesting microphone i mean this is a very famous microphone mariah carey loves to use it drake loves to use it. it's very good for hip-hop but why is the c800 such a good microphone well let's understand you know that this microphone is a tube microphone the tube microphones are pretty interesting because they have a certain type of warming characteristic you know warmth is something that is very relatable to us as human beings you know you put your hand on your heart it's warm you know you you know if you cut yourself or something like that and you have blood that comes out that blood is warm it's not cold well I hope your blood isn't cold, bit, but you know, that's what I'm trying to say. Warmth is something that we are as human beings. So it's, it's very good when you hear it, warmth in audio, it, it, it's just something that can relate to you make you feel a little bit more fuzzy, a little bit more warm. That's what making music is all about, the connection between the music and the people who are listening to it. So the C800 is pretty good because the C800 makes me think of kind of like a high-end camera where it just really gets all the definition and the clarity and the nuances of the um, vocalist. I'm actually literally speaking into the chain right now. I'm literally speaking into a C800 right now, you know? And I think the Townsend microphone is an incredible microphone for the price point because you only you only paying like a thousand but you're getting a lot of good things and the main thing about the c800 as well is that we have to understand it's a tube microphone and with the tube microphones you know they have a certain thing that they do to the high end they add the brightness in so that's how pros they're able to get such bright vocals without it being quote-unquote harsh because they literally have a microphone that's the thing about it too you know i think about it like uh, taking a picture in photoshop right so if you have like a really nice camera and you take a picture you can always make it throwback or a little bit more grainy or a little bit more grungy and lo-fi after when you in Photoshop. But if you take a bad camera and you take a, a picture, you can't make it anymore more high definition. So that's kind of how I see microphones as well. And the C800 is kind of like a high quality microphone. So with the uh, C800 as well, you got to understand it has a large diaphragm capsule. And with the large diaphragm capsule coming back to the cameras, that's like a large lens. It captures a lot of energy. So it's pretty good for people who are rapping too. All of those 
those little sliding words in between the transitions it captures it very very extremely well so the c800 is known for just being so bright very glossy but i also wanted to talk about the ownership of a c800 you know so with the c800 first of all a tube needs a lot of energy to boot up you know so that's why it comes with an external um power supply you know sometimes people would even use their own preamp that would add you know the gain to the microphone a lot of those two microphones they also generate noise the, a lot of the more throwback ones i'm not sure about the c800 but the throwback ones you know tubes generate noise so sometimes they got to get a certain amount of gain to get over the noise that the tube would potentially make so with the tubes we also got to understand too that there's a, a thing where you got to replace the tubes as well people don't ever talk about the ownership of these microphones they always want to say oh yeah it's a good combo go ahead and click my link so you can get it right now they always want to say stuff like that bro look first of all the tube takes time to warm up the tube is all about warmth the tube takes time to warm up the tube in my opinion with working with tube microphones i never use a c800 but a tube microphone that bit takes at least 30 minutes to one hour to work that's why i picked the townsend microphone because i get all the benefits of the c800 the, the sound the ballpark sound but i don't have to worry about the cons of sitting there waiting for the tube to heat up and if you are a pro engineer oh yeah that's cool you in the studio vibing anyways but if you're like a regular person who you recording at home sometimes that 30 minutes to an hour you coming back home from school you coming back home from work you was out there now you're trying to record now you, all that downtime starts to compound 30 minutes let's say 30, it takes 30 minutes every day by the end of the week if you did four songs that's two hours that you lost that's two more songs you could have did every week times that by four that's you feel me so time is also an important thing why would you spend more money to spend more time you feel me? So if you do want to get a C800, I would tell you to get the Townsend. The C800 is a beautiful microphone. I love it. But I'm just saying that's one of those cons as well if you're like a, a regular person with a home studio. So the frequency response of the C800G as well, you know, pretty much there's a lot of activity I feel like going on in the top end. It's just that, that that tube is giving a lot of that that sparkliness, a lot of those nuances, the cuts, ah, like all of those little type of moves, all those little things that 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 bring it back to being a conversation that makes it relatable the c800 is unbeatable in that so I, I i do love the c800 the only thing i would say is that maybe some people who have a very bright voice you need to understand that you are already the brightness like you already have the gift inside of you which is a bright vocal so sometimes i would say maybe they should go with the microphone that has the has a smoothing top end rather than something like the c100 which will kind of be like uh, du duplicating on top of what they already have so yeah i feel like the c100 as well frequencies is like a seesaw if you got a fat boy on one side on one side of the seesaw and a skinny boy on the other side of the seesaw yeah maybe they do weigh the same weight but different build as soon as the fat boy comes off of the seesaw the other one is going to go up so the fact that the microphone is so bright it kind of makes the vocals sound a little bit thin in my opinion just because when you hear more brightness it just it's kind of like the balancing of your ears you know what i mean if you take away a lot of low end then the vocals will kind of have like a brightening characteristic because your ear uses contrast to identify stuff cool it's kind of like black and white green and blue all of that type of stuff so yeah the um c800 uses a pento tube which is the 6au6 tube very interesting there's two types of tubes the trial tube the trial tube is used in things like uh, the avalon you know type of channel strip situation and the preamp and this one uses something like the pento tube this the c800 uses the pento tube and pento tubes i remember it as a uh, pent up odd anger so they add odd odor harmonics which kind of give a little bit of that spikiness but the beautiful thing about the c800 is it does have that little that little spikiness in the top but it's just so pleasant it's so beautiful I, I know you hear it on my voice right now all right the next part of the chain is the neve 1073 and this is coming back to the peanut butter jelly sandwich of audio this is what this vocal chain is the peanut butter jelly sandwich you know so with the peanut butter jelly sandwich the c800 is like the jelly it's the sweetness but then i feel like the neve 1073 is the peanut butter where um it still does have a little bit of brightness or not necessarily brightness but a little bit of spikiness um, from the transistors, which is right, kind of like right here, the transistors and the capacitors, it gives it that spike in the top end. And then after that, you have the transformer and the transformer is like peanut butter. You know, peanut butter is a little bit heavy. So that's what a transformer is. You know, we're making this peanut butter sandwich of audio. That's why it's a perfect combination, you know, peanut butter, jelly and bread. Okay. So then what the Neve 1073 is doing, you see that big red thing right there. That's the transformer. That's what's giving it that weight, that, that big body, you that, that side, you feel me? The C800, like I just 
just talked about the nature of the C100, the fact that that bit is so bright in the top, you need something that can tonally balance it out. That's why the Neve 1073 is such a great combination with the C100 because it's tonally rebalancing it. You know, it's kind of like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You got something very sweet, but then you got something that's just a little, a little sweet too, but the, the it's giving it the weight. The peanut butter helps the jelly get the weight. So that's the perfect example for me, you know? And that's what I'm trying to talk about. Just because peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are a great combination, that doesn't mean that, oh, you know what? That's the only thing I'm going to eat. I want you guys to keep your head open, you know? Any vocal chain, you know, maybe if you want to use a C800, go ahead and use it because it works for you. But do not use it just because somebody else used it, you know? I think the most important thing is you need to harvest your creativity. That's what my channel is about, trying to help you harvest your creativity because this world we living in, it's, it's not promoting creativity they want you to oh you 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 ain't go to college you don't got this money you don't have this car you don't the world that you live in is not harvesting creativity but you need creativity to be an engineer is what i'm trying to tell you because when you have your creativity now you're doing all these new ideas now people want to come to you because of that creativity because at that point if you don't have no creativity then shoot we might as well just get an ai to replace you and that's definitely what the music industry would like to do you know because it's a business they gotta they gotta save you know they don't want to pay people you know, so you got to always consider that too. Your creativity is important. It's your stamp. It's your influence on the music. It's the reason why people come to you because you have these great ideas. So you need to do whatever you can to keep your creativity. And I think it's a bad mindset when you be like, oh, well, I'm just going to use the C100 because that's what Drake and all the pros use. Don't be like that. If you want to use the C100 because it fits you, use it. But do not use it because it worked for the next person because they already made it. You know, you're trying to make it. I'm trying to make it with you. You feel me? But it's like they already made it. You feel me? So if you want to make it, you got to bring in something new to the table. You know what I mean? So after that, let's go to the uh, C, uh, CL1B. The CL1B is a monster. And this is coming back to the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. The CL1B is like the bread. It's giving more of that weight. And the CL1B, it's called the tube tech compressor. But in all reality, what's happening here is the compression is actually being done by an optical component. So you have something like an optical component which is light so when the signal is coming into the compressor what happened is that light starts to get brighter and brighter and brighter but the um the the volume that's driven to make the light get brighter is doing uh, using tubes so that's pretty beautiful about the cl1b is that it's a little bit more of the tubes you know the tubes of the cl1b are very nice because they do have a brightening characteristic but it's very smooth in a very musical way and um you know that's the thing about it too it's a perfect combination of the tubes doing the smooth moving you know and then also the optical compression doing the smoothing because optical compressors are known to have a slow attack and a relatively slow release but the beautiful thing about the cl1b and why so many people use it is because it's an optical compressor with variable attack and release most optical compressors do not let you dial in the attack and the release they are program dependent because of the light like i just told you the light thingy you know the light that's shining you can't really control the light but somehow they were able to figure it out that's why the cl1b is one of the most popular, um, you know, compressors because you have variable attack and release on an optical compressor and optical compressors work so well with the human vocal because it's not necessarily about trying to tame peaks, but it's just really about controlling the dy dynamic range of a human vocal. You know, you notice as I'm talking, sometimes my voice goes up, sometimes it goes down and different words have a different amount of energy. So usually when I'm using a, something like a CL1B, I don't like the CL1B to work hard. Most people say that they like the CL1B to do about maybe like one dB, kind of like what I'm doing right here. So this whole entire time I've been talking into the CL1B. And the last thing that I want to say is shout out to Baines, who Mr. Baines, he's the engineer for Young Thug and uh, Gunner. And this is what, like why I've been using the CL1B, uh, this combination not the cl1b but the uh sphere c800 because i always i always used to not like the um c800 because everybody talks about it and i like i said i'm trying to make it i gotta bring something new to the table but i like the c800 on my voice though specifically because my voice isn't bright so it's giving me it's helping me with my weaknesses you know so that's what you got to think about when using the vocal chain is this chain helping me with my weaknesses you know it, maybe if i if i have a skinny voice is it giving me more weight to my vocal whatever it is you need to play into the strengths and weaknesses of your vocals or whoever you're recording just because a shoe is size 10 that doesn't mean it's gonna fit on everybody 
just because a shirt is size large that doesn't mean it's gonna fit on everybody just because this vocal chain is right here that don't mean it's gonna fit on everybody's voice so that's what i'm trying to tell you use it because it works for you but do not force yourself to use it because it worked for drake and everybody else because you're not everybody else this is your music this is your life this is your legacy that you're trying to create that's what i'm trying to get you at understand bitch. and bane's most important thing bane's talked about how he likes to put a, a, a de-esser literally in the chain which wow that blew my head you know using a, a de-esser in the chain this type of chain because the c800 combined with that, that the transistors and the neve you know is going to make that beer extra bright you know it's going to make it really bright and spiky so he likes to use a distressor to um a de-esser to balance everything out so yeah this is the chain here. I'm also going to drop the link down below. Maybe if you guys want to try it, you can. But definitely, I would completely recommend the Townsend microphone. I mean, you get all of these emulations and you get all the benefits. That's the reason why I bought the Townsend microphone. I never heard nobody say this, but the reason why I bought my Townsend is because I get all the benefits of a tool microphone, the sound, but I don't have the cons of sitting there waiting for 30 minutes to an hour to let the, 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 the tool warm up. You know, that's with most, most hardware, even a CL1B. A CL1B be gonna take 30 minutes to an hour that thing is a monster it's gonna take some time to warm up kind of like a human being when you wake up in the morning you're not like oh i'm ready to go with my day you kind of wake up a little bit slow you rub your head you brush your teeth and as the day gets going you start to get warmed up it's literally the same exact thing that's why people like hardware because hardware is the human element pretty much so yeah you know i went off on this video i just try to keep it real to let you guys know how your creativity is important do not lose that please do not lose that guys that's what i make these videos because i want to inspire you guys i want you guys to hear what i gotta say and make you feel like man i want to try my own thing i want to i want to create a new sound because when we create a new sound that's even better now it's like damn you know like when we create a new sounds it's like more vibes more energy more more everything you know so that's what i'm really into just want to say thanks a lot for being a great part of my youtube family i appreciate you guys don't forget to check the free link down below you know i've been dropping mad console templates but i think you guys should really try this one out appreciate you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe peace